Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got new books. We've got The New Couple in 5B by Lisa Unger. And it's a mystery where a young couple trying to make it in Manhattan finds out that they have inherited an apartment in a very tony district on the east side called Murray Hill. And so they move into this very upscale building with a doorman and cameras everywhere and the neighbors are welcoming and they love it and then all of a sudden they start to wonder what's going on because there really is this doorman is around all the time same guy way too many cameras um lots of gruesome murders have happened in the building and then one of the neighbors turns up dead and um this couple starts to worry about this perfect building that they've moved into so murder mystery We've got Listen for the Lie by Amy Tintera. And a lot of people seem to like her. She's got um, reviews on the book by Leon Moriarty, Stephen King, Alice Feeney. I mean, all fairly well known. And this is about best friends um, who live in a small town in Texas. And uh, they both, they go different, different ways, but they're still best friends. One marries the, you know, best guy in town and... The other one goes her own way and does what she wants and all of a sudden she ends up wandering the town covered with her friend's blood and remembers nothing about the murder. Later, years later, she moves to LA and she starts a new life and then a true crime podcast is interested in finding out more about this crime. So she was not charged with it, um, but there, nobody was. So she goes back to this small town with this podcast producer and they try and solve the murder so listen for the why be fun another murder mystery uh the hunter by tana french and she's written quite a bit this is a crime novel set in the irish countryside and it's about a um, an ex-chicago police officer who has retired to ireland or ireland and lives out in the country, starts a relationship with a woman who has a teenager, and they are forming a family and doing pretty well. And then the teenager's father comes back to town with a British millionaire in tow, and they have ideas that they're going to be able to find gold in this small Irish town. And so things start happening and going wrong, and the family that he's been trying to build shatters. So that must be kind of fun. We've got C.J. Box just love these Joe Pico, Pickett. Joe Pickett novels are fun and this is number 24 so he's been doing it for a long time and if you've read the others the characters will be very familiar but in this one there's a rogue grizzly bear who is killing people which doesn't usually happen they don't usually come after people and even if they do they don't come after lots of people but in this case there is one and he's trying to figure out why, since he's a game warden and um, also fights crime in all kinds of different ways, he's looking for this bear. And at the same time, one of someone that he's put in prison years ago, Dallas Kales, who will be familiar to those of you who have read him or read the series, he was put in prison years ago by Joe and he's come out and he blames Joe and Nate for the death of his entire family, basically. And he comes out with a list tattooed on his arm. He's on the hit list for revenge. And of course, Joe is number one on the list and Nate is on there too. And he's using these bear attacks to basically carry out his, you know, death list and hit list and blame it on the bear. So if you like these, this series, you'll enjoy this. And that's what we have for this week. We'll have more next. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby, I've been, yeah, yeah.